Credit history questions in this week's episode. We've got Helen from Edinburgh asking, I have poor credit history with two defaults three years ago. We've got Anne from Norwich, a married couple, asking about credit history. Becky from Dalkeith and Spiros from the Borders. All to do with credit history in this week's Be The Broker. Coming up in a second. Hey clan, it's Ross Stese, aka The Bearded Broker, bringing another video to you this week, episode 13 of The Bearded Broker, and that is, I get lots of questions from all over the country, from different first-time buyers and next-time buyers. I am a mortgage broker, that is what I do day-to-day, -day so I can feed my children, and I love helping first-time buyers, and I love helping next-time buyers. So we've got a whole bunch of questions this week, we've got Helen from Edinburgh, We've got Anne from Norwich, we've got Becky from Dalkeith, and we've got Spiros from The Borders. So let's get to it. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. It informs the YouTube gods that you're loving our content and it'll push it out to more people like you. So please share and that'll help get out to the wider community of first-time buyers and next-time buyers. If you're on Facebook, hit the thumbs up button. If you're on LinkedIn, Please like, please comment. Uh, so here we go. Right, so we've got credit history questions. We've got Helen from Edinburgh. I have a poor credit history with two defaults three years ago. At the moment, I have no debt. Is it a good idea to try and buy a home now or would the interest be too high due to my credit score? Should I instead get a credit score building credit card to improve my score and look into a mortgage next year. Right, so we'll break that down in a few little elements then. So, so a poor credit history with two defaults three years ago. So the first question I'd be asking is, are those satisfied? So are they paid off? Or are they unsatisfied? So are they not paid off? A default is when you borrow money from a lender or you uh, have a mobile phone, which you've not made the payments for, or you have a bank account with an overdraft, and you've not uh, stuck to the agreement and paying that overdraft back, and perhaps you've closed the account, you will then have a default attached to your credit file. So whoever you owe money to will typically sell that debt to somebody else. So a £2,000 debt, they'll just sell it to someone else for a few hundred pounds, a company, a debt collection, debt collection agency, and they'll come after you for that. And the company that you were with originally will just write off that debt, but a default will be attached to your credit file. So that has a serious impact on you being able to borrow some cash or borrow some money. Now, if it's satisfied over three years ago, uh, then you might get a high street mortgage. If it's unsatisfied, you'll not get a high street mortgage. The interest rates, yes, would be higher. Will they be too high was your next question. I don't know until I sit down with you, Helen, whether they'll be too high or not, because I don't know what your affordability situation is. So if you earn lots of money and all that sort of thing now, then, you know, we could be okay. So it just depends on your affordability. And uh, the next question was, should I uh, instead get a credit score building credit card to improve my score? Uh, absolutely, absolutely do that. Because the history will only get further away and your current present... Uh, will we'll, we'll, you know you get a credit card credit score building credit card and you buy something on it and make that payment it just it, it's all good stuff it's all you know green little stamps on the credit file every month it goes past so your, your score goes up a little bit and the history stuff get, starts getting older every month so so yes if you can then do it looking at a mortgage next year Again, I would need to sit down with you and figure out what your circumstances are. Perhaps that might be the best idea. Maybe it doesn't have to be. So depending on your individual circumstances. But often that is the case. We delay it for a while. So thank you. Next, we've got Anne from Norwich. As a married couple, one of us has poor credit history. Does this write off the chances getting a mortgage with a 5% deposit? No, it definitely doesn't write off the chances. Where the difficulty comes is... Let's say, Anne, you're earning £40,000 and your husband is earning £40,000. That then becomes your household income of £80,000. 
that would be a crack in household income. Now, in that example, the lender will look at 80,000 from an affordability point of view. Now, let's say we don't have one of you on that, we're only taking one side of the actual story into, equa in, in, into the equation. So in that instance, let's say, Anne, we're, we're taking you on the mortgage, it'll be your £40,000 in terms of income and affordability. So that can really hinder how much you can borrow. So depending on how much you want to borrow and depending on the person's income that we're using will depend on whether this works for you or not. So hopefully that helps. But definitely the, the question is, does it write us off getting a chance of getting a mortgage at 5%? It doesn't, which is good news. Becky from Dalkeith. If I go for an expensive specialist lender, so an expensive specialist lender due to poor credit history, after after how many years oh, after how many years would I be able to go to a high street lender which would most likely be cheaper? So Becky, depending on how bad the credit history is, and depending on how historic that information is. So uh, my uh, conversation before with Helen, uh, hers was three years ago. So the older that gets, the easier it becomes to get back onto the high street. So it would depend how old that credit history, that poor credit history is, would depend how long it will take to get you back onto the high street and a potentially cheaper interest rate. So there are specialist lenders out there that if you have a default, you know, unpaid or paid, or you have other various different types of poor credit history, there are specialist lenders that will take you on uh, at a higher interest rate. Normally a bigger deposit and a higher interest rate, but ultimately it's better that than spending £800 a month on rent and throwing that down the drain. So sometimes that's a trade-off. And then the idea is a few years' time passes, you've got a, a you know a good history building up on paying a mortgage, you've not had any other credit history issues, and then in a few years' time, we can remortgage your house. So remortgage just means, you know, changing the mortgage. But we can change it, hopefully, onto the high street and get you a better deal. And when we talk about the high street, we mean, you know, any of the other lenders that are not specialist lenders. You know, your Halifaxes, your Nationwides, your Royal Bank of Scotland's, who will offer you a normal high street mortgage deal. So hopefully that helps. Becky, thank you. For the question. Spiros from the Borders. My uh, hometown is Gala Shields, so Spiros, I do love the Borders. I am currently viewing properties to buy as my first home. My mobile phone and internet provider contracts are also ending this month. Should I renew them or will I get credit searches recorded on my file that will cause a problem with a mortgage? It's a good question, Spiros. It's going to come down to lots of things. How big a deposit are you putting in? How good is your credit history at the moment? What's the rest of your profile like? So in my job, we talk about someone's profile and we talk about their credit history. It's two different things. You know, if you've been in the house for a long time, you've had a, the same job for a long time, you earn good income, you've got a good deposit, that's a terrific profile. If you've got a good credit history, that is, you've borrowed money and paid it on time and that sort of thing. So it is two different things. So depending on the both of those, I would normally say no, it shouldn't have any impact, but it will have a slight impact on your score. So if you're worried at all about your credit score in any way, shape or form, or you're just putting in a small, tiny deposit, you know, like a 5% deposit, then I would maybe avoid it at the moment, Spiros. But if you've got a good deposit, and you've got good credit history and you've got a good profile, as I explained before, then you should be absolutely fine. Hopefully that helps. So we'll see you again next week. It's Ross Stisi from the Stisi Group with Trusted Mortgage Experts. If you're on YouTube, please give us a wee like, give us a wee thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Facebook, give us a thumbs up and a comment if you can. If you've got any questions, just send them our direction. And you can visit our website, stisi.co.uk. I'll put the link in the description below. And it's been a pleasure, so hopefully you can help us push these videos out to the wider community. That would be much appreciated. My aim is to help first-time buyers and next-time buyers and anybody looking for a remortgage. So it's Ross Stacey from the Stacey Group, trusted mortgage experts, and I am the Bearded Broker. We'll see you next week. Thank you.